Show, Peter G Show, Peter G Show, Peter G Show, Divorce Dad, Single Dad, Divorce Dad, Single Dad, Peter G Show. Sunday once again. Hell of a Sunday. Hell of a Sunday. Long day for old Peter. That's right. We're going to give it a few minutes like we always do to welcome everybody in. Like clockwork every friggin' Sunday night, here I am in one way, shape, or form. And I'm going to tell you, talk about hurdles. Facebook is still giving me, or my third party software party, some hurdles. Everybody, come on in. The water's warm. But um, Facebook is really is giving me some problems right now because they changed their Privacy Act and they changed their encryptions and all that kind of crap. Hey, look, there I am. Uh, so, so what's going on here is uh, is they they screwed everything up. They started changing all their codes and all that. And it screwed up my third-party sharing software that I use because, unfortunately, the you here's the thing: the official Peter G Show page, right? You figure that's the page, that's where your your aura, your heart, it goes, and that's where you're at, and that's what you're doing. You would you would you know do your show from there. True, but Facebook, you have to create a profile page before you can create a business page. I know I've gone over this, but I'm going to go over it again because it pisses me off big time, okay? Big time. So here's the deal. You can't live stream to both. You have to pick one or the other unless you have a third-party software. These guys figured out how to make it to where you can share. And because I have many pages, like three or four pages on Facebook that I share to. But the main Peter G. Show page, which, by the way, is in an undisclosed location in Burbank, California. I can't broadcast live to it, and it's just freaking me out. This is week number four, four weeks. I'm, they told me last week they were going to have it together. But they're waiting on Facebook to give them the codes, but but so far no good. And I'm you know, and my my live official Peter G. Show page people, they're going, hey. What the hell's you know another another one bites the dust? I don't think so. Not here. I'm no quitter. Yeah. Hey man. But it pisses me off. So what happens is I have to do the whole show without being live on the official Peter G show page. That's freaking stupid. I mean, you're on my profile pages and for those of you and I got a lot of people on those pages too. So thank you. But uh, once the show is over, then they push it over to the official Peter G Show page, and you watch it after the fact. But it just sucks. It sucks really bad. But nonetheless, no matter how pissed off I get, it's okay, because I'm a pro- professional, and I'll rise above it. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm sorry, okay, for the people who haven't been able to catch this, and they're like, don't know how to get to the other pages because you're so used to being, you know, a creature of habit. If I was watching me, I'd want to watch from the official Peter G. Show page. I mean, that's the page. It's like going to McDonald's. It's the official McDonald's, not like go around back over to the other guy. And it's really still McDonald's, but it's, you know, we just don't have the sign up. Stupid. Uh, well, I apologize. I really do. And so does my my software provider. They're, they're, they're getting their asses kicked, too, because they have other clients than just little old me. You know, but uh, the problem with me is, is, you know, I chose to do a Facebook channel show at a certain time every week. And, uh, you know, like clockwork, whereas nobody does that, which is another story I want to talk about. I got a lot of shit to talk about. Today's been a good day. Long day. I don't smell like horses. (laughs) Glenn. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, hey, let's start a watch party, shall we? Watch parties are very important, and they're, it's, it's, it's proven. It's a fact already. Yes, that's right. I'm going to do it, too. Give me a second. got to figure this out. Uh, share. I want you guys to hit the share button, and then it says start a watch party. All right? Watch parties go out to everybody. If you hit that share button, it says, hey, April wants to start a watch party. I love you, April. I'll never get to see you anymore, but I love you still, even though you traded you know, off on different stuff. Driving different cars. That's all right. Doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway. All right. So start a watch party. 
start a watch party. And so it's like, uh, so hit start a watch party. I just did. Sh shoot, I'm watching myself. Start a watch party. Now I'm losing my track of training. I know, but get to the point, Peter. They're pointing at me. So anyway, okay. Long day today. As always, long week this week. Lots of stuff, but start a watch party. And remember that we could not do this show if it wasn't for Bolt Energy. Thank you, Bolt Energy, for allowing me once again to be here. Oh, wait a minute. By the way, uh, what, what day is it? Today is October the 6th. Let's do this real quick. October the 6th, and what show is it? It's show number 39. That's right. That's right. And I'm going to get to another point on that, too, about people doing stuff and fizzling out. Not this guy. Not this guy. Hell or high water. No way. All right. So once again, Bolt Energy. Uh, ask for it in stores. Electrify your senses. Why Bolt Energy? Bolt Energy. Enriched with vitamins and antioxidants. Number two, number one. It freaking tastes good. I like it. It doesn't taste like shit. I say that a million times, but that's the only way I know how to put it, all right? Uh, you could not you could not do this and, and drink this stuff. I don't like energy drinks that taste like shit. Number two, number three, number one, it's a better, cleaner energy drink, all right? These guys are workout fanatics, and when they put this in and devised this whole uh, thing, they said, Peter, I want to make a cleaner, better energy drink that will just give you that get up and go so you can you know, get up and do what you need to do. And that's why Bolt Energy came into my life, because I truly believe in them. I love what they got. And uh, I ask you to look for it in stores, uh, www.drinkboltenergy. If you can't find it in stores, write to them. They'll tell you where you can find it and how you can get it, all right? We're growing. Not easy to do this either. Two, two you know, two completely different things that are, everybody wants to be somebody, you know what I mean? There's a million uh, things going on, and... Uh, you just cannot every you know it, it, work equals you know effort equals results it's that it's just that simple so i i encourage you to drink bolt energy and tell them peter g sent you from the peter g show that will let them know that somebody's paying attention all right and as always i'm going to pop a can hang on ah i got to take a sip oh here we go to tonight's show a lot of things to talk about and then we'll take phone calls in a little while. Yes, I do want to. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll tag it, Gary. There you go, Gary. Uh, 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 there you go. Um, a lot of things to talk about. I can never get to everything. But, uh, yeah, Greek Festival. I, I'm going to. We'll talk about that later. Did you check my mailbox? <laughs> ah, this stuff tastes good, especially when it's really, really cold. And if you're a bartender that has a glow in the dark effect if you're using black light in your bar and you you know and it, you can make fancy schmancy drinks and you know presentations a lot too makes cool stuff but uh, number one number one number one freaking tastes good you don't need 80 million ounces of it to to uh, you know to, to get a little bit of a kick in the ass to get you through the day right one more sip and then let's get back down to business mm. I like it. All right, second, third order of the day. Today I uh, I had to get up super early, and I don't talk about this a lot, but I do talk about it a lot because I am a proud man. My daughter had a horse show today. I had to go deep in the thighs of Ojai, California, where it was hot as the devil's ass today, blowing dust farts all day long. I mean, the wind was just blowing in that arena, and the horses just kicking up dust and I was just I know what it feels like to be at Burning Man that's all I can tell you minus the drugs I was looking but nobody had anything <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding you got any all right yeah so I'm covered in dust my daughter's working her ass off and she cleaned house to a certain extent I'm very very proud of her and I will post pictures tomorrow because I can't help it because you know what she 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 just worked her ass off and uh, oh, and so that's the whole deal. Uh, Chris, you, you signed, you logged on to the wrong page, dude. I can't tag you. You're on my personal page. Bolt Energy. Oh well. Better luck next week. 
No, sign off and then sign back on on the other page. All right? Peter Gisela's page. See, that's what I'm telling people because I keep telling. It's confusing because years ago I signed on to, you know, Facebook as a personal page just for friends, keeping up with my hometowns and all that kind of stuff. And then they said, oh, you want to start a business page? Well, I didn't want to combine my personal page with my business. Lo and behold, I had to break my whole friggin' Greek-ass last name out and and do it. And now it's very confusing. And uh, here we are. Yeah. Anyway, so, so I'm in Ohio. Long drive. 60 miles, 45 miles, whatever the hell it was. It felt like 140 miles. And you go up these canyons and down. You take your eyes off the road. You're going to be in a ditch. They'll never find you for about a year or two. Uh, you'll be 200 feet down, you know, in, in off a cliff. And um, I get there early this morning because she already rode with her girl pals and all that. It's like, you know, I'm just dad. And, uh, and you know, and, and it was a good day, but it was hot. And these horse shows are, you know, they're a lot of work. And she worked her ass off, and she rode English and, and Western, and she cleaned up in Western. I mean, but she looked good, and the horse, the contrast between her clothes, and it just really looked good. And I was very, very proud of her, and that's because I'm a proud dad. And that's because I'm here doing this show because that's the whole reason why I do this show is because of all the bullshit I had to go through and that most of you people go through just to try and be a single parent. And... Uh, Anyway, so um, it was a long day. So then I had to leave, and she cleaned house. I mean, she she did very very well. But this one thing, it was is what they call in in the horse stuff. It was a buckle show that like you win a buckle. That's you know what you're shooting for. Besides the ribbons, and she had a ton of friggin' ribbons. But uh, I had to leave before I could. I couldn't wait for the results because they were doing some other stuff, and she was done. And Daddy has to go do his little show. <laughs> and Daddy's got a long drive ahead, and he's filthy, dirty, and sunburned. And uh, so she just texted me a little while ago, and she did get one of those buckles, and I'm very, very proud of her because uh, she did. She did very good. She looked good, and she she did good. She works hard. It's not. See, and this is part of the show tonight. It's like you cannot expect to be somebody or do something without the work it just doesn't work that way i mean there are those that smidgen of people that shit just falls in their lap but it for most people it just does not it depends on what you want to sacrifice to do and to get to where you want to be and this is my topic tonight and i you know other than james from culver city trying to call me way too early on um james you gotta wait bro i don't take phone calls until at least quarter of the hour and it's 8.43. Sorry. So anyway, so that's how it works, okay? Tonight, I was supposed to have somebody on the show tonight, and um, it didn't work out. She called me, and she, she said, hey, man, maybe we can collaborate. And she, she was starting a business about children, single parenting, mediation. And, and this is not the first time I've had people approach me that we're starting this business on like uh, mediation coaching, how to handle your children, single parenting coaching, all this kind of stuff. I get a ton of people like that. Okay. But the thing was, she says, hey, maybe we can do something. I said, sure. You know what? I, everybody needs a break. Uh, I, I needed a break. I, I still need a break because I'm nothing. I'm just a guy try, out there trying to do it. So the girl says to me, and she's in Canada, Toronto. She says, maybe we can do something. I go, I don't know what you have in mind, but you obviously know what the hell I do. You want to come on my show? I, I got an opening Sunday because somebody canceled on me. And I'll call you, and we'll just talk about what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I, I really want to come on, but you know what? I got kids, and Monday's an early day, and, and this and that. And it's like, I get it. But you know what I mean? I can't. You know what I mean? You can't just like, oh, let's just do it when it's convenient. Convenience doesn't work in a business where you want to be somebody, and you you but you want it at your schedule. It doesn't work. Believe me, I know. This show was concepted eight years ago. I've only been doing it for three. I talked about it for four. And the reason we talked about it for four is because my dreams were so big and the ideas were so big that I couldn't, I couldn't achieve it until finally somebody kicked me in the head nicely and said, Peter, back it down. you got to crawl before you can walk. And we started crawling. 
and I started crawling. And that's when it was the Jim and Peter show for a very short time. But for years, we because I kept seeing something, I go, we got to do this, we got to do this. And he didn't like backing down. He didn't want to do small. But the, at the but for years, we're just talking about it. And it's like, wait, I go, dude, we ain't doing nothing. And but he didn't like it. And then before you know it, within a year, once we started, I cut him loose, and here I am. Because I really want this, you know what I mean? And my waking hours every night, every day, I am working while other people are watching TV or going and doing stuff. I'm, you know, doing this because it is so hard to do this. So I told her, I said, I, I totally get it. I said, but I'm going to ask you one more time to think it through that if, you know, because she's in Toronto, so it's three hours ahead. So I said, you'd have to come on around, you know, 11.45 p.m. I'll talk to you for about 30 minutes and that's it. And I said, because I don't know, after we hang up this phone, when I'll be able to get back to you. Because I'm going to give you another example. There was a girl in Texas, same type of business, parenting, single, like, coaching, mediation about, you know, helping parents divorce. There's a lot of that going on. And at the time, we were doing one-on-one multi-camera interviews, and we could not... And I just couldn't schedule her in. She was willing to fly on her own dime from Texas. She was that hopped up. She was willing to fly here to come in to let me interview her because she was starting this business. Well, we didn't get there because things were changing with us too. So out of the blue, I thought about it. I go, let me call her. So I call her. Now, this is she's been calling me for a year, and she kept up with me pretty good. I'll give her that much. So the other day, I call her. and I said, hey, you know what? It, it, it reminded me of... Of somebody, you reminded me because somebody I just got through talking to is trying to do the same thing you're doing in Canada. She contacted me, but she couldn't do it. I want to talk to you. How you doing? And she got back to me. She says, "Well, didn't work out like I wanted to. You know, I wasn't making enough money, and and so I've had to go, you know, do this and do that." And it's like, well, yeah. If you think you're gonna freaking walk into something, and go, you know what? I'm gonna start a business and. Uh, you know, and I, you know, and I, I want to immediately start making money. It doesn't work like that. That's your side hustle. This has been my side hustle. I had to work my ass off and still am to do this, expecting nothing from it. It's that simple. I know what I want, but I don't expect anything except for me to show up and freaking keep on pumping stuff out. And so I called her and I said, hey, yo, you know, I totally get it. I really do. I go, you know what? Great idea. How about you come on my show? Sunday night, this was a few days ago, let's talk about the failures, because they're really not failures. She said she's going to keep on going, but she had to go and do something else to earn a living. That's, I mean, you know, basically what most people have to do, uh, and then they come home from whatever they're doing to make a living, and then you're, you're working on your stuff that really matters to you until you're tired, dead tired, and want to go to bed. It's that simple. So... Uh, yeah, whatever, Groucho. No, concept, conceive. I, I don't even know what, what that, uh, I'm sorry, I'm reading uh, <laughs> too many pages. All right, so here's the deal. I told her, I go, you know what, but this is good. This isn't a failure because you said you're going to keep on, you know, you're going to resume, but you just need to catch your breath and keep going. I go, why don't you come on my show and let's talk about that because it's really not failure. I fail every friggin' day, okay? Every day, but I keep on going. My stuff keeps going. It's like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just know that it's coming from the heart and we are doing what we feel, which is another story. Had a friend of mine call me last week, and he kept on telling me, you know, this is what you should be doing. This is what you should be doing. You should be reading, you know, doing this. And I go, dude, I hear you, but it's not my show. It's not me. This is what I do. And he says, I hear you. He says, but, you know, some people like spicy. Some people like salty. Some people like hot. Some people like mild. I go, exactly. And I can tell you that I am not your cup of tea because you keep on telling me to do something that I don't do. And he says, why don't you go on to YouTube Live? Why are you messing around with Facebook. Facebook, you know, fuck Facebook. And I said, no, you don't understand. I want to do Facebook because I believe in Facebook people. I said, the people on Facebook have history. They have something going on with them. I said, I want to do it on Facebook, you know, and, and because nobody's doing it on Facebook. And he goes, exactly. He says, there's my point, Peter. He says, why the hell are you wasting your time on Facebook? Nobody does this shit on Facebook. And there's a, and so he was trying to tell me that nobody does it on Facebook because Facebook ain't going to work or isn't going to work. And you should be on YouTube Live. 
I'll tell you, I don't care about friggin' YouTube Live. And my point was the exact opposite. I don't think anybody has had the guts to come onto Facebook and try to make it like a YouTube Live. And maybe I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, that's my bad. It's all on me. I don't have to answer to anybody but myself. But that's the way I feel. So that's it. And here we are once again. And, uh,. You know, so, so here's my point. So we're gonna we're gonna, and I doubt anybody's gonna call to eight one eight two five nine seven nine eight three. Other than James from Culver City, who's probably jonesing. I haven't heard from him in weeks. But I had to set this up because it's like, is what are you doing in your life? Are you happy? And what I mean, and you know, what I mean, do you really think you put in what you put in of worth to try to get what you what you want, the dreams in your life? Because I'm telling you, it's not easy. Nothing in life is easy. We're going into a whole new world. But that's my point. It's just like, you know, uh, don't think that you're just going to, just because you have some friggin' hot idea, my close, some of my closest friends are looking at me going like, oh, friggin' Peter, you know, we've been hearing this for years, and I don't care, because I'm happy. I'm happy. I'd rather die trying than to just go, you know what, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's just not, you know, I don't know. What's the reality check? The reality check is I love what I friggin' do. I do. I'll drink to that. Bolt Energy. However, it has been like pulling teeth. Lately, these past few shows we've been doing have, um, these past few shows I've been doing, nobody's been calling because I've had people I've been interviewing and I got into such deep thought with them. We never even, like, we kept forgetting, uh, uh, (laughs) I'm sorry, I'm reading things. Hey, everybody. Uh, I got to get bigger screens. I can't see anymore. Um, uh, just... 818-259-7983. Eight one eight two five nine seven eight three. Okay, so anyway, oh here he is. Let's let's go talk to him because I know he's drying. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hi, James. That's right. That's right. What's going on? I am the penalty. Are when you? No one calls. No. Well, I haven't even taken a phone call yet. Anyway, I blew you off a couple of times too. <laughs> yeah, because I'm on a limited schedule here. I'm sorry, but you know, so am I. <laughs> My time is valuable. Yeah, I know. Send me a check. I mean, a bill. I am the messenger. You're, yeah, you're something. All right. What's going on? Have you? Are you able to listen to the show right now? Uh, not without getting that horrible feedback. What feedback? If I turn on the speaker on my Facebook, you'll hear it. No, no, no. I don't mean while you're talking to me, but I mean, did you switch over? Because I know you are one of the fans that listens to the official Peter G. show page, like most do, and I am totally screwed. This is one month I've been going through this crap, and I I don't have a fix yet. They haven't sent me a fix. I just talked to her on Friday. They're pissed. I'm pissed. We're all pissed, but I'm I'm a professional. I'll rise above it. No, I saw the ad earlier that said tune into the uh, your personal page. I know, but I don't know who anybody who reads anymore. So thank you. Which is the point of my call. Oh, boy. Here we go. What did I misspell? Are you going to be a grammar Nazi? No, it's uh, – I, I hear what you're saying about you want to you wanna do something that hasn't been done, and I would agree with you. You should always go where other people are not. Thank you. Okay. But – but yeah, there's a button behind it. <laughs> you sound like my judge in court. Okay. <clears throat> and that is you don't know who's watching. The like it like uh I just saw it on the Dark Knight Rises. Oh boy. Why does Batman wear a mask? Um be- uh because I don't know why. To protect the ones he cares about. It's not to obscure his identity. It's to protect those. Oh, boy. Are we going back to that shit again? Well, uh, I got to say, if you're on YouTube Live, man, yeah. nobody would know who you are Why unless you told them. Why is that? Because you could maintain a persona. If they're looking at me, my face, you know, you can't disguise this shit. Right. But I, I shouldn't know your daughter's name or what she looks uh, like you, you know what you you worry too much for me i, I really she's so, <laughs> you, know, you are like the biggest warrior about that shit she's so disconnected and let me tell you something again i'm not worried it's about not it. that it's what? not about what her yeah. thoughts are or, or how it impacts her life yeah. it's about what monsters and predators are out there <sighs> whatever 
issues. That's that's just one aspect, uh, uh, and then if we get into the whole, you're, you're getting way you too. Know. You're, 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 look, number one, nobody gives a shit about me anyway. If there was, I'd be not doing this show. Okay, we'd be doing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, that's why I want you to move the show to a different platform. I do too, but the thing is, I want to move it to a platform of worth. And for right now, this is the platform. I mean, you know, uh, uh, give me a suggestion. I thought whoever that guy who was screaming at you about YouTube Live, that was pretty good. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. Because YouTube Live's no, no different. It's no different than this. What's the difference? You're seeing me, you're hearing me. What's the friggin' difference? I've just invested all my time into Facebook and Facebook people because I believe in them. And now I don't. And, I, and now I'm going to go to YouTube and just change everything. He also told me I need to change the day of my show, which I totally understand. Maybe I should do it on a Wednesday at five thirty. But I started on this time, and it's like I don't shift horses every ten minutes. It's like you you make a decision and you stick to it. And if it sucks, I'll find out. But I mean, what's so but big you, deal about you're YouTube? Still a- you're still in the crawling stage here, so you're not really changing horses in midstream. And my recommendation, why not do both? Uh, uh, because I don't have the broadband hardware uh, capacity. It, that, it's a, it's a, um, I, there's a couple of ways. Believe me, I've considered all this stuff, and I just got to the point where it's another one of those you have to crawl before you can walk. It's just that's the way it goes. And believe me, I, and it can be done, I can, uh, but it's complicated. If you knew what kind of turds we polish here to do what we do, you'd shit I, even more. I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar very familiar with polishing turds. Yes, well, I'm pretty making good at gold. it. Yes. <laughs> and making gold. Yes. Well, I'm going for platinum. <laughs> that kind of sums up Hollywood in a nutshell. Well, yeah, but that, you're right. You're, you're right. And the thing is, again, it's, it's, it's complicated. It's lack of resources. Manpower, the whole damn thing. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, I'm seeing somebody I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, I haven't spoken to him in months. Hey. Well, okay. No, okay. No, go on ahead. my watch party here, I have a... Uh, I have some Hollywood people watching right now. And, Do you? Oh, yes. Is it, uh, so is that good or bad? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know what they're into. <laughs> I don't know what they're into either, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's, it's here I am. I got nothing to hide. Open book, and um, I'm not afraid. And, and, in fact, somebody just said something. I just looked at something the other day, and they go, you know, that before, you know, you were like big fish, small pond, and... And uh, now, you know, you might be, you know, small, a uh, big fish, in, a small fish in a big pond. It's like, I'm not scared. It's like, whoever, what you see right here is what you get. This is me. Step aside. Let me do something. You want to help? Give me a little bit of, you know, uh, backing and let's do this for real, for real. And just let me do my thing. And if I, you know, I'll take it somewhere. If not, then let me go. You know, whatever. Well, oh, okay, now. I have caught some of the previous shows that I didn't call in for. Yes, thank you. And uh, just a couple of production notes for you. Yes. When, I, when I've called up and I've done those bits with you and all that, that's just me preparing just to make it entertaining because people want to be entertained. But what, when, what if bits? you're going to have someone call in to your show, yeah. you shouldn't let them drive the conversation. What, you're the host. What bits you are we talking about? It. Huh? What bits? Oh, the the clips I played you where you had to guess where you were the contestant? Yes. Or asking you the trivia questions? Yes. Yeah. It's entertainment. Okay. But uh, the couple of shows we caught where the, you were talking to the women, you know, oh, my God. I yeah. couldn't stand it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's, you know. I mean, I, I feel their pain. Don't get... I don't want to, I don't want to negate what they went through was terrible. I understand. Like I said, do they un- got in the car. Do you under listen to me? Do you understand what's the title of this show? <laughs> uh wow, what could that be? Uh, Peter okay, G exactly. Show? No, it's called Life with <laughs> Peter G. Life yeah. with Peter G. Yeah, so we talk about life. You know what I mean? Again, it might not be the and and again, in the future, if when I got 30 people working for me and we're mapping stuff out and we got it all queued up and all that, believe me, I'm totally in. You don't know, when I sit down in this seat, and I am sitting, I'm not standing, I know you thought I'm standing, but what it takes, it's a go for it and whatever the fuck happens, happens. And sometimes it happens with buzzes and hums and the phone don't ring like normal and everybody writes me and tells me how they want to call in but they won't. What do you do? Like I said, until you've lived it, Easier said than done. I go all week figuring out where I'm going to be, and then somebody pulls the rug out from under my feet, just as they did this week again. 
you can't, you know, and I don't have the, we don't have the, the, uh, the, you know, the people who, the advanced people who just keep on doing it. Believe it or not, it's like you're looking at them. Well, I, I'm not saying it's easy. No, no, no. I understand that. But please understand that I get all that. I really do. Hey, Peter G. Hi, Judy. Oh, sorry. I keep, uh, <laughs> I keep, people keep, that's the thing. They're no, all I... freaking texting, you know, and this is the, the weird thing about this. They're all sitting there watching and going, but nobody will pick up that freaking phone at 818-259-7983 except for James from Culver City, which I appreciate. Well, if, if they don't call in, we're going to start talking about bringing our, uh, no, we're not. Backyard brain <laughs> no, 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 we're not. <laughs> so, so, and I'm trying to keep it, yes, you know, yeah, PG. I, I know it is hard for you too. I, understand. I mean, so far you're the only one who's dropping curse words. Well, just, just, I, I do, I do, I, I do drop one every once in a while. That's okay. It's, it's, it, you know, it depends on the color uh, of what I'm talking about. I do get uh, a little bit uh, excited about things. Here's the deal. The, the, the thing is. That when, you know, again, I, I get people that are willing to spill their guts and be normal and talk about life like that, I'm going to take it. I mean, I'm you know, it's better than Maury Povich or all these friggin', you know, it's not Jerry Springer. But if somebody's going to tell me, hey, you know what, I was a crack addict for friggin', you know, 30 years and I'm just managing to straighten it out, well, I'm going to listen to them because, believe me, uh, I, you know, I, I can't even imagine that shit. I mean, I've had, you know, my run-ins with stuff, but, uh, right. you know, I mean, well, what, you know, it is what it is. I, I want to touch on something though that I, I've heard you make reference to, and it's it, it's one of those things that all divorced parents seem to do, and they seem to think that oh yeah, my my child doesn't notice this, but they do. Mm. And this is going way back for you and I. Okay, let's go way back. Um, when you're talking about your the mother of your child, yeah. And you refer to her as yes. your ex, yes. or I drug her in a huge court battle. Mm, she drugged me, but okay. Drug you, right? Yeah, she beat the shit out of you. Well, no, but okay. she drug me through it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still okay. It's still a trauma. Sure, I'll be hell damn right it was. Okay, and the debris of that trauma mm -hmm. inevitably falls on the children of divorced parents. Uh. Always. Well, it does for most. You know, depending on how you handle it. Again, if you've listened to me, I am one of the luckier son of a bitches. You know, what I mean, I am one of the luckiest guys today. That that mine has. It, it, I've gone. She's gone unscathed. I mean, she knows that we both love her very much, and it was a bitch. I talked to her a lot about that stuff. We talked and, about and I, that, and they all say the same thing. Oh, she understands. She no, knows she's no, loved no, and all well, that. No, I didn't say. And they wind up with a needle in them. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. My partner, when it was the Jim and Peter show, he's fucked. And he still is. I'm pretty sure he still is because he reached out to me back in February. And I, I can't even talk to him because I don't know. You know, And he agreed that because he used to get mad at me when I tell him the way I felt. And he kind of admitted that I was right. And I don't want to be right. I was just being me. This is what you see right here. We're doing this. I'm just me. And that's why either you see a value in me and what I think and what I do or you don't. It's real simple. I mean, if you want me to go host a game show and just be funny, I can do that too. But I, th I just have a passion for this shit. And uh, and I, he's screwed. He's got two kids, and I feel really bad. But I'm at this point right now that it's like i got enough crap going on around my life. I'm not going to get sucked back into that because I tried to hang with the man even when everybody was telling me he's not the right fit. And, and I kept saying if we could just get to the point where we can just be hosting – and just cut up. I don't need to live with him, you know. But it, it was—it's deep because in the beginning, it's like being a band. I mean, you're spending a lot of time with that person or these people, and it's very personal. And um, but I'm James. I'm telling you, man, I'm one of the luckier of the few. I do understand what you're saying, but mine—not my—I'm not saying oh, look at me, how, you know. But I'm just luckier. I know I am. It's not what you think. You want it to, to say like, see, I told you so, but I'm sorry. So far, so good. I don't know what to say. Well, and, and that's the way it goes, I've noticed, with parents, is that they uh, – I'm actually – and we'll use a famous example here. I just heard an interview with Eddie Van Halen from 2006 Yes, where he's talking about how great his son is. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how great your son going to be when you're considered one of the best guitarists in the world and the kid doesn't have to work no, I know. for anything? I get it. I get it. And, and yeah, my yeah. God, and and basically the the trauma of 
that marriage is all over the news. I mean, it's going to be a Google search for that kid to find out, oh, dad said this about mom. mom. Well, oh, my God. I'm sure he's probably, but, he's old, he's an adult now. How old is that kid now? Wolfie. But I, I hear parents do this all the time where they talk about their kids in this in this glowing light, and okay. it's like they're looking at their, their children through rose-colored glasses. Well, I, I am wearing – well, no, I wear, I wear them during the day. But let me let me tell you, when I do get <laughs> – Yeah, t- they look about that color, yeah. No, no, they're a little bit lighter. They're the exact same frame. But it, I was wearing them today. You'll see the pictures tomorrow. Uh, here's the deal. When I do get upset, because shit comes up all the time, I go – you know, yeah, that's what your mother used to do. I said, but, and I always end it with this, and I do because it's a friggin' truth. I said, I loved your mother very much. If it wasn't for your mother, you would not be here with me. And so there was a time when we loved each other to death, and then it turned into we want to kill each other. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, if you want me to do this, I can do this. I can put one of these on. Okay, we can do that. Let me see. I, I can't see it. Oh, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> shit. Well, you can watch the show tomorrow. I mean, I can do this. Hang on. I can do this, okay? Now, here we go. It's like, it's the somebody's show. Life with somebody's show. How's that? I don't have a problem with the title. I know. You have a problem with me. Ah. <laughs> uh. I have a problem with the fact that it's too easy to connect you in your personal life. Well, you know what? You're the only one making an issue out of it. Nobody gives a shit. It is my personal life. Don't you understand? <laughs> it, it, when, you, when you put yourself out there, you are opening yourself up to all this shit. Do you understand that? I know you do. Okay, well, let, let's, talk about, let's talk about Howard Stern. What about him? Howard, Howard talks about his personal life all the time. Yeah. But how much of it is actual... He he's very good at at talking about it, but not talking about it. Well, true. Like, like you know, he has daughters. I know one of his name is Emily. I remember from twenty years ago what their names were. He's he's mentioned their names, but you know, sure, no, 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 their names fine. I mean, and I, he just mentioned that one of them's uh, getting her doctorate. Probably they're friggin' grown adults now. It's been ages. Somewhere but, here in California. I actually. understand, he's, but he's when he first out here to visit her. when he first started his show, he was not divorced. He was not. His show was just an entertainment show. My show is about mm-hmm. bitching about stuff. Howard Stern's been butt using bongo. His show for my my, my dad is doing butt bongo. I mean, come on. I, I give him credit for like how his wife even was able to deal with all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, dude. Howard's a very complicated person, but the point is... He was, and he's changed over time, too, by the way. I know he's not the same guy he was 20 years ago. We all change. It's okay. No, he's going to psychotherapy like three times a week. <laughs> he was doing that back then. And, and and that's another thing. Somebody else mentioned, he goes, man, you're kind of like Howard Stern. No, I'm not. I'm just a guy doing this, and he happens to do that, too, and we all do this. You know, it's just the way it is. Well... I have no gimmick. I mean, I, I'm just doing the best I can with what I've got, you know. And I have a phone number there that everybody watches and nobody calls. And and even if they did call, I can only take so many calls at once. So tonight it's all you. You've been away for several weeks. I'm giving you the floor, and you can so, push my, you know, push to like crucify me or not. I mean, it is what I'm it is. I'm not trying to crucify you or push your buttons or anything. It doesn't. It's okay. I'll, I'll save that for another call. Okay. Um. Uh, so I'm just trying to illuminate the terrain in which we find ourselves, which is that basically you're doing a show about life, you live life with Peter G. Yes. And unfortunately, I, I see a security risk I, to you. I, 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 I don't because at by time anything, if anything, goes good with me. I mean, you know, my daughter's off to college. You know, she's off doing, and she she is definitely off doing her thing. But let me tell you something. What is so freaking different about? I'm on Facebook like 80 million other people posting things about their kids, and their. I mean, it is what it is. It's like who's so fucking retarded that they they give that much of a shit to, to um that my daughter's like what they're gonna go to get my daughter? Really? They got nothing else to do. Oh wow! You just you, you just walked right into it. I did. I'm, okay. Uh, yeah, I did. So here it is. Yeah. Here it is. One of my biggest complaints about Facebook and how I want to go up to a lot of parents, they post these pictures of their kids. Yeah. And it's like, 
Yeah. What are you doing? I get it, but the the odds, especially and now, if you keep it private for just your friends, okay. But a lot of people friend anybody. Yeah, <laughs> Melanie, hang on a second, Melanie, because she's got a, a uh, she's bitching right now. Melanie, call my number right now, and you can talk to James. All right, she's she's, she's mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> call. I want you to call right now because I see you sitting there. She's texting the shit out of stuff, and it's like I'll let you talk to James. I think I have that capability. At least we used to, <laughs> but but you know I'll let you guys th- because I I don't know to me it's it's just like you know again there's just so much going on yeah there's a risk for everything you know what there's a risk of if I let my daughter walk home from school there's a risk from from you know it's just the life you know it's just right, so did you did you heard about the guy right I hear about a lot of people uh, they, and they just caught him um, he basically a thirteen year old girl yeah. He was just so taken with her, he went and murdered her parents. That's great. And then took her and was going to, who knows what he was going to do with her. But thankfully they got him. But And it's like people think, oh, this won't happen to me. No, I don't <laughs> think I don't think that at all. I just think if they don't want to get shot, they're not going to, you know, I, that shit don't happen. Here we go. And, Give me a second, James. Hang on. Let me see if I can do this, okay? All right. Hang on. Melanie. Hey, baby, what you doing? Uh, uh, well, uh, you know what I'm doing right now. I'm going to let you talk to right. Jim. Uh, I, you know what, first of all. Wait, 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 wait. I, uh, let me merge. This, I got to merge. Thing. What? Shit, man. What the fuck is wrong with this man? Oh, well, I'm going I'm, I'm to let, ta- let you talk to him, okay? Boy. Okay, hang on. Hang on one second. Just hang on. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. Technology sucks. James, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Melanie, are you there? Yeah. I'm here, buddy. All right. Melanie, meet uh, James. Go. Hi, Melanie. What's up? Hello. Go ahead. It's all you. Go ahead. Talk into the phone. We're all here. Okay, go ahead, James. Please continue to uh, enthrall all of us with your fucking ideas (laughs) on Mr. Peter G's life. Because, man, and as for the comment on everybody on this earth saying it is what it is, that is bullshit. It's what you make of it. But you are a clown, James. You are a fucking clown, man. Did I say it is what it is? If I did. No, Peter G did. But you're just a clown. You're a clown, man. What he does with his life, it ain't none of your damn business. It isn't even your right to criticize it. No, he can. That isn't even your right. No, he can. This is why I do the show. I'm open. No, that makes him a dumbass. (laughs) Along with everybody else on this earth does it. For real, man. I mean, it's not like you're going on there and doing it yourself. You're trying to help people and expose the truth. And these people are calling you and fucking criticizing you? Well, yeah, they're gonna. I lead by example, though. I mean, that's why if I don't lead by example, how do I expect other people to open up to me? Right. But no, while just you're... to be clear, I don't have a problem with Peter G talking about his life and doing a show. only thing I... The only problem I'm having is that it's too easy to connect Peter G to his private personal life. And he, he has a duty to his daughter to protect her anonymity and let her have a life. And she does. So far. Man, do you know how stupid you sound? No, I, no, look, I'm being serious. In, in all fairness, just, I understand him. I understand him, but I think he's over. it's a little bit overblown. Because I, I am nobody, and if I by the time I become you are correct, ding 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 ding, you are the weakest fucking link. Good fucking bye. You know that? What? Me, oh my god! Me, me? What are you? Do you have a tube that feeds your fucking brain? Talk, wait a minute, this, thank Jesus! I'm, wait, I I'm, I was listening to this, this is and I was just gonna listen to you talk. I wasn't even gonna talk. But I got so scared I was going to catch your dumb from wherever the fuck you are that I had to call in and talk in and say to my friend. Well, I'm James from Culver City. Yeah. I don't want to know where the fuck you are. Hey, you know what I do? That way I can stay away from there. Hey, Melanie, if you're ever in Culver City, please stop on by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd love to talk to you in person. <laughs> you know, Melanie was an ex dancer, right? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, I was, Hell buddy. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, Melanie, I was looking for you to call in when I talked to uh, to Karen. You know, uh, I figured you might have wanted to help chime in because she cleaned up after being on crack for 
uh, several decades. Wow, that's man, that's amazing. Yes, that's she, awesome. She's that on. She beat it. She's listening. I thought you were going, but you must have fallen asleep that night. Oh uh, man, I've been so sick. Mm. All right, I didn't mean. Well, I didn't mean to change. Say, you know, I don't want well, to change. Melanie, a little background on you. So you're a dancer. Uh, are you a recovering alcoholic? What's the deal? Easy. That's what the deal is. That's easy with me. I was. I am. A, I am a recovering survivor. That is exactly what I am. She saw the light. All right. So how did you fall into the trap? Wow. <laughs> I didn't fall into shit. I made the decision to become a stripper because I wanted oh, to. No, I don't have a problem with you. God a bless the strippers. There's nothing wrong with that, There's nothing wrong with that <laughs> profession. That's right. James is a fan himself, by the way. I don't I to partake, to- but... Uh, I don't have a problem with a, a person. No, I figured, I figured you didn't partake because you're a fucking weird hypocrite. No, he's not. A, listen, he just has a very big concern that I'm exposing my daughter to to things that I don't I under, you know, that I don't feel I am. And it, I it, bet I, I bet you work at home, don't you? No, ma'am. I actually mm-hmm. work in Culver City. I'm calling for my employer right now. Yep. Oh Jesus! Yeah, he works. He, 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 he works at night and he takes his lunch break just to listen to my show. So I got to give him that much. That's scary. <laughs> Thank I, Are you a tall I'm, normally? I mean, I'm woo. a full time student, and this is uh, I'm very I'm very blessed to have this job that pays me enough to keep the lights on at home. Yeah. So. Hmm. You know, I don't even want to know the background material on you, except for what kind of job you got. No, I mean, just, just, I'm, I'm, I'm showing legitimate, you know, heartfelt concern for his daughter because I see how celebrities pollute their children's lives because they think about only themselves. I'm not saying Peter's doing that. I you know what? Yes, you, about yes you, you, you are. Yes, you are. You are so in signs of a class A fucking stalker. That's how stalkers act. You act just like a stalker. Peter G., I would be giving my daughter a gun and showing him, tell your daughter this asshole's picture and give her a gun. Uh, no. But the, believe me. how to shoot it. Uh, she's well protected. Well, Melanie, I, I don't want to sniff her panties. I'd like to sniff yours, but... Hurt. And my husband would, my husband would beat you to death, motherfucker. You hear me? You yep. don't ever yeah. disrespect me. Yeah. If you ever disrespect me yeah. again, yeah. my husband will beat you to fucking death. And you're not you the, understand yeah. me, tell, motherfucker? Tell, tell him, Melanie. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm t- trying to give you a compliment. Melanie, tell him. Didn't, you don't ever fucking talk to me like that again, she, ever. She's gotten ever. dick pics before. You're not the first. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> tell him, Melanie. Yeah, yeah you ain't the first. That's right. Superman's got it down. Yep. Yep. And besides, your dick pic would look like a fucking Vienna sausage. Oh, I done heard. That's Superman right. Superman said he tried to use his invisible fucking ray to help you, and he couldn't even find it. From Vienna. So shut the fuck up. That's right. <laughs> Melanie, we're just talking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that you know what you're 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 you know my fan my super fans you know what I mean they're protective they're protective right yep yep I appreciate but, it that's why I love her so much that wouldn't even call me a super fan well but, you're not you're a super asshole no <laughs> I'm a con- I'm a concerned citizen it's concerned citizen I've seen I've seen too many kids get hurt you know you know. Mm. You don't call somebody and tell them you're worried about their fucking child. Yeah, actually, that stuff. Yeah, it's like we could have talked about that off the air, but I mean, I do. We've talked. We talk about it all the time. That's the problem. It's like there is no problem. No, the problem is there is a problem. Well, I know because we keep talking I, I about. I work it. with kids from broken homes, and <laughs> yes, he's with the uh, pattern I've seen way too many times. He's with the Salvation Name. He works for the Salvation Navy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. I, I, I feel I feel very uncomfortable with where you work. Is it Culver City in Alabama? No, no, it's not no. in California. It's, it's not. Yeah, I don't. I well, don't good. work with I just for my job. Mm. I'll be out there tomorrow. Yeah, by the way, mm. just so we're clear, I don't work with children for my job. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uncle, yeah, Uncle, yeah. Per- Uncle Pervy. Thank God. Thank God. I, I work yeah. with the adult versions. <laughs> we all do. Uh. Jesus, you work with uh, special needs people? No, 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 no. No, I mean, these kids that come from broken homes, they grow up and they get jobs. And, well, we all wind up working <laughs> with them one way or another. Uh. Did I tell you it was really hot out today, and I got dusty, friggin' dirty, and I'm worn out? I feel like I've been to. Oh, I feel like I was yeah, at you're Burning Man. On dirt, I heard. Yeah, I, snor- oh. I snorted enough. Oh uh, I brought Oh Hi back with me. I didn't even think I was gonna have a voice to- tonight. <laughs> well, dude, you know what? You still, you still haven't a- a fucking explained what kind of person you work with. All you told me is they're the adult version of this fucking kid. You know, I mean, hell, you go, I'm girl. a fucking adult version of a kid. Uh, Peter, yeah. he's the adult version of a fucking kid. Yeah, bomb Sunday. <laughs> oh, Peter G, my husband said my husband was is also the adult version of a kid. He said, hey, brother. That's I'm right. And he said he's going to be Ozzy Osbourne when that, he grows up. That's right. I got, I'm going to be Dolly fucking Parton when I grow up. Uh, uh, and I'm uh, halfway uh, fucking there. Uh, <laughs> right. did, you, did your parents stay together? Yeah. Yes, they did. I, they met on uh, March 1st and then got married June 1st and stayed married till my daddy died from a piece of medical equipment in 2013. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, right. my parents stayed together all their married lives until they were separated by death. Do not try to psychoanalyze me, you shithead, <laughs> because I just graduated <laughs> in 2016, uh, top of my class, with <laughs> the highest honors as a special a specialist with a uh, counseling, ooh, excuse me, counseling training of uh, drug and alcohol. Oh shit, you got me confused. That's right. As a uh, alcohol and drug counseling treatment specialist, and last year <clears throat> with my drug and uh, I mean my criminal background. Yeah, criminal justice <laughs> certification. Damn, I'm I'm tired. I ain't slept with you not. I like it. Woo. I like it. Well, okay, yeah. Melanie, great. I, that's I'm I'm glad to hear that. Hey, James, um, yeah. what's the, what's what's a very common thing <laughs> among the people you counsel? Mm. James, perhaps Broken you'd homes. like to come down to Perdido, Alabama, and get some counseling. Uh, uh, uh-uh. don't do that. <laughs> you done offended me. All of, no, no, no. All, some people might need you. You don't know. You he might need you more yes, than ever. I do know because You're I counsel them over my phone. And the most of the people that I counsel, I counsel them for depression and anxiety. And where does it usually stem from, Melanie? Mm. Usually, not like always. Mean, post-traumatic stress disorder, but no, mostly the ones that I counsel are from broken relationships and uh, hard times from not having enough employment. And where does that or stuff get started? In childhood. Oh, well, but I don't hear about their childhood. And if that's where you continuously keep your span, then you definitely don't want to talk to me. Mm. Because my childhood would give you a heart attack. Oh, boy. Maybe we need to all just talk, like... Could, I don't talk to nobody about my childhood. I know. Hey, listen, 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 because it's getting deep. Can we all just take a deep breath? Maybe we need to pray on this, some divine intervention as my... No, he needs Jesus, period. <laughs> Mel- Melody mentioned something that I want to ask about. So are you in Alabama? Let me get the banjo music out. Hang on. I'm I looking. was born in Pensacola. Boy. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I, thought, I thought I had a fellow... Uh, Alabama with me, but all right. fellow. My what? husband is. He's a roll tide motherfucker. Uh, that's right, Su- Superman. <laughs> you go, Anthony. I'm not a bad guy, you know. All right. <laughs> can we can we all just kiss and make up and like listen, Melanie? I know he's kind of looking out for me in a lot of ways uh, because he's not a bad person. A little, a little, okay, well, a little twisted, but not you know. <laughs> <laughs> but aren't we? But aren't we all? I mean, I think we should just um, kiss and make up. How about that? Come on. 
at the end of the day, you're both fans, and you both pay attention, and I both love you both. And uh, but we all can't we can't we all just get along? Like yeah, I said, I I'm, I'm not a fan. Uh, what are you? I, I call to help your show to help you out. Oh, uh, you're okay. Thank you uh, for your donation. <laughs> Like I said, I am the penalty when people don't call you. But it, uh, uh, it's, it's, you. You can call it what you want, but uh, I know that I don't even have time to watch me, let alone the people that do, and God bless them all. All four of them. Million. Oh, my God. I met your four foot nine, and you're around four foot eight. You fucking <laughs> four by four. You ain't nothing but a twisted asshole. You don't get attention from nobody. You ain't got no girlfriend. You can't grow fucking facial hair. And you got a little dick. Don't you call him fucking with him no more. You're an asshole. Yeah. God. This is God made me. Yeah, a four by four with a little brown hair across his dick. What, what I find so interesting about you, Melanie, is that I, I have not insulted you That's in true. any way. What's, That's true. You don't fucking have to. I'm the mouse of the South, bitch. Get used to that. <laughs> you are lethal. <laughs> That's right. My zipper broke. I come on, cook. Kiss my ass. Oh, boy. Pick your choice. All right. I, I got a question how oh. good of a counselor you can be if you can't even hold an intelligent conversation without. Oh, you know, hey, asshole, let me tell you into. one fucking thing right now. My intelligence right now is because my seizure medicine is working on me. If you want to challenge my intelligence, I can come up there and you can figure out how far I can stick my foot up your ass. That's how right. about that? I could use a well, seizure based salad on your description right now. I'm of it, not very far. <laughs> well, I bet I can get it further than my knee, mm. considering you were four by four. All right. Oh, I prefer boy. to be fisted, if that's any consolation uh, to you. Oh, <laughs> shit. No wonder you ain't got a girlfriend. Oh, boy. You ever been fisted, Melanie? No. And I don't plan on it, you fucking pervert mm. son of a bitch. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, I figured it'd be like, hey, can, you can, okay, whoa, whoa. can we keep it kind of clean? It's F bomb yeah, Sunday. Yeah, really. Don't you have a disconnect button for that fat fuck? Oh boy, no, I do. I do. I want us oh, to. I, that no, I, Man, I, want, I want to. I want to. Would you rather just talk to me? No, no. And I, instead of me and him, I just. I want yeah, to. Peter, I want us. You can talk to her all you want. No, 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 no. I thought we were just getting ready to all love each other and just let it go and let's just you know. Peter, pull. but but Peter, that's the point. You want people like Melanie. You want that. That I have train wreck. I have no. Sh I, I mean, don't. We all love to slow down and look at the car crash. Yeah. Melanie's that car crash we want to all look at. Uh, is oh, is she? Excuse me. I call it Gulf Coast West Coast. I mean, you know, pick your poison. I mean, we all have stuff. We all have stuff. That's, That's why right. we get. And I'm the South, baby. That's right. SEC yeah, she, rules over everything. Peter, right. this is a this is the this is, she is gold for your show. Uh, this is the reality television of. Facebook right here. Mm, Facebook mean the place that I shouldn't be on. I Melanie, should be on YouTube you doing this. Every week? <laughs> no, I don't need uh, Melanie to call every week. She does her job when she's supposed to. You know what I mean? Just like you. <laughs> she's she's and doing. You had that she, for she, yours. She's doing this That's because why I had the call. <laughs> she's here for. A, she's here on a mission, just like you. We all have our purpose. Woo. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, I'm, I'm I appreciate her calling in. Thank I do, you. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Here, here's the problem, though. Man, what? next time you call in, dude, you don't need to drink too many adult beverages ahead of time. That's right. I, I don't. Or yeah. smoke too many adult cigarettes that's, ahead of time. That's right. <laughs> Listen. Well, the next time you call in, the adult things are. Listen, well, both. The next of, time you call in, Melanie, can you drink a couple adult beverages with that seizure medicine? I think it might I do be not a lot more drink. entertaining. I don't drink. You're missing out. <laughs> well, no, no, not if it's the, no, I can't picture you on drunk. Hell no. There's some things that you just can't fucking unsee, and you would probably be one of them. Did I remind you guys now, that not, I don't have a tough stomach anyway. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Did, did I remind you guys that tonight's show is brought to you by Bolt Energy Electrify Your Senses? <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Bolt Energy. Electrify your That's right. Listen, guys. As much as I, as much as I love this, th see how fast an hour goes by when you're yep. having when you're having fun. <laughs> Who's got it better than us? Okay. 
So nobody, uh, nobody. But you know what? I am blessed to be here, and I'm a lucky man in many, many ways. So I thank you both for for doing and participating. But I think it's time for us to say good night. How about All that? Right. Good talking to you, Peter. Good talking to you, Jim James. Melanie. Thank you, you as Bye. always. All right, Melanie. Good night, baby. All right, baby. Goodbye. Peace out. Good night, Melanie. That's right. right. Wow. It's like WW Smackdown. <laughs> I, look, I don't want it to be like that, but it is kind of fun. <laughs> Holy crap. What do you think, Paul? Uh, my, my Florida right-hand man sitting there off to the wayside watching this stuff. Listen, you know what? I think in, in the long run, there's a, like a love hate love thing going on. I think it's you know, I um I don't know. I've lost all. I had I had a I had a purpose for tonight, and once again went it went completely to shit. Nothing I wanted to do tonight except for a couple of explanations of a few things. Everything else went to shit. And I'm going to bring this subject up again because I want to get the women, the girls that were starting a business and how much time they put into it as to what they expect to get out of it. Uh, I, I'm going to have to obviously pick it up again. And this is the problem with everything I do every week. It always gets sidetracked, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, somebody called in who wants to get stuff off their chest. And uh, I thank James from Culver City. Uh, we haven't heard from him in several weeks. And, uh, and, uh, I, uh, thank Melanie for, uh, you know, sticking up for the Peter G show life of Peter G. Although I, I, with James, it's just concern. I know it is. That's, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, everybody's concerned. I think that we just need to all just take a deep breath and let's just relax because life is good. I don't think half of the stuff goes on if you don't talk about it and bring it to awareness. You know what I mean? We cut, we just like, let us just all be. What else did I want to talk about now? TikTok. I'm still fighting. I'm, gonna, I'm not giving up on this fucking TikTok stuff. And it is F-bomb Sunday now because, believe me, I don't stand, I can't hold a candle to what just went on. So I look like a friggin' saint. But uh, TikTok, you know, it's that new format or newer format. And there's like, you know, you got older people, younger people. And it's just, it's a smorgasbord. It's a clusterfuck salad of stuff going on there. I'm I'm trying to hang in there. I'm putting my two cents in, but whatever happens happens. You know, I I'm not worried about it. I love you guys very much. I don't know who's watching. I apologize for the live show not being live on my main page of all places. That is friggin' ridiculous, but um you know what? It, it, again, you know, this is how it goes when you just don't have multi-million dollars behind you and you choose to do something in a very unorthodox way, but it is working, and I'm very, very thankful. And again, there's some subjects I didn't get to get to, to uh, for the third week in a row, but I'm very, very grateful. So uh, we are out of time. It is uh, well, two minutes over, which is you normally I run about seven minutes over. Just can't fit it all in. God, you know, imagine if there was commercial breaks in between. It'd be screwed up. But if you're not watching this live because it is late and everybody tells me it's late and i got to go to bed, remember, you can watch this during the reruns, the rebroadcast, and you can share and start a watch party during all of that. I hope you're doing it. I hope you will continue to be doing it because believe me when I tell you how effective it is and I'm watching it because it's, it's coming back at us. And we know it. We feel it. We just can't put our finger on it because it's so screwed up. But I know you're there and I love you for it. And thank you for participating uh, and for those who are watching, I wish you guys would call that 818-259-7983 number a little bit more fluently. Leave me a message. Tell me what you think. Send me text. Send me instant messengers. I don't care. I love it. I'm getting them, but but we got to keep on going. Next week, who knows again, because I've gotten so sidetracked with everything. I've gotten to the point right now. We are just glad to be, and we'll just take it, and life goes on, hence the show Life with Peter G. We'll talk about whatever we got to talk about. It doesn't matter, okay? Once again, thank you to my sponsors, Bolt Energy. I could not do without them. <laughs> I may not have a sponsor after tonight, but let, let, <laughs> let's see what happens, okay? Uh, but this is the last sip. Mm. All right, let's do this, and um, 
Uh, once again, welcome and thank you for uh, hanging in there to F Bomb Sunday. But uh, you know, we're all adults here, and it is what it is. So uh, I'll talk to you soon again. Is that it, boys? Are we done? All right. Yes, it was interesting. Hang in there. Well, let's go. Peace out. Okay.